add a PDF to your page. So let's say I got a page where um, I'm talking about something and I'm telling people here you can download this application and fill it out and mail it back or bring it in the office. So if I wanted to create that, <clears throat> this is how you how I would do it. So you're gonna click on this button right here. This this is the add media button. It's a camera with a little music note. You're gonna click it right here. And it's gonna take you to the upload window. Now you can upload Word documents or any other kind of document from this window. So you're gonna click browse. Browse. And then you're gonna find the the PDF file that you want to upload. So I created one already and I called it test PDF and I'm going to click it, open it, and then I'm going to click upload. Now after the document is uploaded you're going to see it pop up right up underneath the uploader and from this window right here is where you can name your um the file that you're gonna have people to download so you can name it uh, application PDF download or you can name it whatever it is you want to name it so after you do that the only thing you have to really do is just make sure that um, you click insert into post. You don't have to click save all changes. Just click insert into post and that will insert it into the post. See? And now you see the it's a link right here where people can click it and download the file. So, in order to test this out, I'm going to click preview. And it takes me to the page where I just created that post with the link in it and I'm going to click on it. And as you see, it opened up a PDF where a person can save it, print it, blow it up, minimize it, or whatever. Now, as you just saw, when I clicked the link, it opened up in the same page. Like, if you didn't want this document to open up in the same page and, and, and you wanted to open up in a separate window, all you have to do is click on the link and then click on this little link icon right here and you click it it's going to take you here so since we don't want the PDF to open up in the same page we want it to open up in a different page we're going to click check we're going to check open link in new window tab check that off and then you're going to click update and then after you do that and you preview it and you'll see that it's going to open up in a new tab it opens up in a new tab and you still have the other page open in the other window so after you see that it's functioning the way you want it to function you're going to click publish because if you don't click publish it won't save anything that we just did so you're going to click publish and after you click publish it's going to be available for everybody to click and download and do whatever it is they want to do with the PDF file and that's how you add a PDF once you've already uploaded a file to to a page or a post and let's say you wanted to add it somewhere else the same file in another page or post you don't have to um, continue to upload the same thing over and over again like everything that you upload by clicking the media button is going to be stored inside of your media library so go to media click on library and it'll open up this window right here and this is called your media library window and this is where you could either add different files and you can store them on here if you wanted to if so you can upload them to your pages of posts later or you can come here and you can f and um you can view the files or you can edit the files
so let's say if I wanted to edit the file I can click on this and I can change the files title let's say if this wasn't an application download maybe it was a, a newsletter I can change the name of it and then I update it clicking the update media button and now you see it change into a newsletter PDF download so anytime I get ready to uh, make a post all I gotta do is click on post and click on edit and then let's say I wanted to add that newsletter download into this post all I have to do is click on the media um, add media button which is the little camera and the music note and then I can click on media library right up here you click on this and it'll pull, it'll pull up um, all of the files that I've uploaded so I can click show and then let's say I wanted to insert the newsletter PDF into this post all I have to do is click insert post I didn't even, see I didn't even have to upload it again it's already there so this is where your PDFs and your files and your documents are stored so if I wanted to put this inside of the post I just click insert and there you go it's inserted into the post so it works the same way as a, uh, the other one does and it allows people to download it so let's preview it and test it out to see if it works and right here I'm gonna click on newsletter PDF download and you see it opens up the document so you can either save it or print it and let's say if you didn't want it to open up in this window by um, and you wanted it to open up in a new tab click on the link that you want to open up in a new tab that you click on this little link button and then after you click the link button you're gonna click open in a new window and then you're gonna click update and then you're gonna preview it so you're gonna click on it and now you see that it opened up in a new window and the old window is still open see okay now that you've done that you publish it that'll save everything that you just did and it'll put it live on on your website on your blog and that's how you um, add an up an already uploaded file to a page or a post It could be a PDF, it could be a Word document, it could be a zip folder which contains multiple files. You can do all of that the same way you just did. Okay, um, I'm going to read off the question. It says, when I go into a post, it says comment close. So I cannot comment into any post. Okay, so if you ever see that message the reason is is because you have to enable comments in your blog so the way you do that is you're gonna go inside of your posts so you're gonna click on let's see if I can bring this so you can see it Okay, you're gonna click on. Well, let me see. Okay, you're gonna click on um, the post, and right at the bottom, it's gonna be a little um, tab that says discussion, and inside of that tab is where you're gonna click to allow comments. And once you click that, you should no longer see um, comments are closed. So you click on it to allow comments and if you don't want anybody to comment on your post or page you uncheck it and then they won't be able to uh, make a comment on it. So that's how you enable that.
and after you um, check check off um, enable or allow comments you gotta remember to um, to click on publish in order to save what you just did because if you don't click on um, publish it won't save it and it'll still say um, comments not allowed so to make comments work you gotta uh, check on allow comments click it and then you're gonna click on publish and that saves it